How to use ClickUp animations. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use automations on ClickUp and how many automations you're going to get on the free version of ClickUp versus the premium version. So let's get into it. Now we are on the ClickUp homepage. If you're not already on ClickUp, what you're going to do is just going to add your email over here and then you're going to set up your account on ClickUp. I have already created my account on ClickUp and before I take a deep dive into automations on ClickUp, ClickUp is probably one of the only project management softwares that provides you with automations for free. So you get a hundred automations per month for free on ClickUp. And that is a huge benefit of ClickUp as compared to almost all other project management softwares are going to uh, provide you with maybe like five automations or um, maybe even less than that for free. They usually keep automations exclusive to their paid versions. Now on ClickUp, if you opt for their $5 version, you're going to get a thousand automations. And if you go for their business version, you're going to get 10,000 automations. And even a hundred automations are probably good enough for a starter or someone that has a small business. So moving on to our ClickUp account, you can see over here, I am on my homepage here on ClickUp. And if you just click on spaces over here, I'm going to go into my daily schedule space. It's a relatively empty space. And in this space, I have two different lists. I have October and then I have November. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few tasks in all of these lists. And these lists are separated. So October is a separate list. November is a separate list. And within my list, I have added weekly categories. So within a certain week, I'm going to add tasks. So I'm going to get started by going into the board view and I'm going to add a few tasks in each of these weeks. So I'm going to add week study reading math homework. And I'm just adding these random little tasks just so all of my categories appear on my home screen. History assignment, geography, project, like that. I'm going to add some to week three. I think this is good enough. Now I'm going to go back into my list view. So you can see in October, I have so many tasks in week three. I have a couple in week one and week two. And in November, I just have two basic tasks. Now to automate tasks, what you're going to do is you're just going to take a look at your task, depending on how you want your automations to work. So open up whatever workspace you're, you are wanting to add automations in. If you want to make it a bit easier right now, if I open this view, I'm going to view everything within that space. But if I click on October here, I'm going to get a view of only my October list and I find that a bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to open a singular October view and I'm going to click on automate over here at the top right corner. Now you're just going to click on add automations. And now there are quite a few different categories of automations you can add here on ClickUp. First off, you have your moving automation. So maybe if someone, um, if a when a task is moved from one location to the other, a certain process needs to happen, or then you have statuses. So when a assignee changes uh, the status of a task, then someone might be notified and all of that. Then you also have creation automation. So maybe you want to be notified every time a new task is created. Then you have date automation. So um, maybe if a certain date arrives, so when October ends, maybe I want all of these tasks to be added into November's, all the remaining tasks to be added into November, I can do that as well. Then I have assignees, priorities, and other tags here as well, which I can add and automate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a date automation. Then I'm going to add, now I'm going to view all of the date automations over here. So what I'm going to do is when the due date arrives, then I want to change this to that. What I'm going to do is when this due date arrives, then I want to change this task. Yeah, I want to change the status of this task into completed. And I'm just going to create this automation like so. And just to show you guys, uh, you can see on week three, I have a couple of different tasks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the due date for today for this task like this. Now I'm going to refresh my page. 
And now with that automation, my task has been moved. I can add more automations as well. Now, depending on how you set up your automations, if I add, like I added this automation into October, the October list. So this automation won't work on November's list. And if you want to add an automation to your entire space, you're just going to click on the space over here and then you're going to automate it from here. So that just depends on where you are adding your automations from. So if I want to add a automation to both October and November, I'm just going to click on this. And then let's say when a due date changes, then I want to, when the due date changes, then I want to add a comment and the comment can be delayed task or anything you might want to add. I'm just going to create this and now I have turned on this automation. You can turn off automations as you go and if you want to change up your automations, you can do that as well later on as you progress with your ClickUp setup. So let's say I add a few due dates for all of my tasks. I'm going to add a due date for tomorrow. I'm going to close that. I'm going to also add a due date on this task over here like so. But if I change the due date on this task, you can see I changed the due date. And now this has a description of delayed task. Now, this is how easily you can apply automations onto ClickUp. It's nothing difficult and it's nothing to fear like, oh, you might feel a bit like, oh, how do I do this? How, how do I set the conditions for your automation? ClickUp makes it really simple. Just click on add automation, click on custom automation and you have an abundant amount of categories to choose from to set up your automations. Generally, automations are more helpful as a function when you're working in a team or with a business or a company. And I do find that automations really do optimize my own personal workflow as well. So just to show you guys how automations work and make it easier for you to set up your own automations, I'm going to do another example. So you can see I have this template loaded from ClickUp and obviously you can add automations on the templates as well. What I am going to do is I'm going to go into a different view and I'm going to add a new list. So let's add a list, a board view or just a list view. I'm going to add a list number three. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to add this list as a now or never list. So things that are super urgent can be present within that list. So this is kind of funny, but still it's a very useful list. So what I'm going to do is you can see over here, if I go into class assignments, I have different little assignments. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the automation. So I have due dates set up on this. So I'm going to add a automation when this date arrives, then change the list. So when due date arrives, I want to move to this list. I want it to be moved into the student now or never list. I'm going to create this and you can see now I have this automation working and you can see now that if I go into my now or never, I'm going to refresh this and I'm now going to see how tasks will be moved from uh, here to now and never every time the due date for a certain task arrives. So this is going to enable you to keep track of things and be notified of changes. And you can see over here now I have this task present in the now or never section or the now or never list because it was due today. So this is how easy it is to set up automations on ClickUp. And I hope you guys are now able to set up your own automations and I will catch you guys in the next video.